Better than a leg out. Better than a leg out. <laughs> Matthew Jones is in position for a long range shot. He's with it now, Matthew Jones. Welcome to the podcast, everyone. Going to uh, warn you straight off the top, this could be the greatest podcast we're going to do. Just got a gut feel there. Um, Jack, Trish, Coops, how's it going? Everyone good? Good. Last time we said it was going to be a good podcast, it was probably the worst time we'd ever done. Uh, yeah. What was that? That was when Cooper's quiz failed. Uh, I never knew. that was all about you. I don't know. I th- I'm pretty sure Matt said last week's was going to be, he had something special. Well, he had something special, all right. Unfortunately, we had to edit it out. Look, let's just let's just say it like this, right? Only, only the early birds that got in mm. and listened first thing Friday. Understood. Well, heard it. Well, what had happened was people is that I was... No, don't tell them. I'll just say what happened originally. No. Uh, I was cleaning my teeth with an electric tr- a toothbrush, pushed it in too far, and Trish said you would be no good uh, given a gobby. Uh, I demonstrated on the podcast that uh, I would be able to give a gobby. In fact, I did it so well that uh, Jack Johns, he was (laughs) traumatised. Trish started asking questions and Cooper was high-fiving me. (laughs) And uh, and those high fives... Turned into uh, low fives. Basically uh, got me a little concerned and we eliminated it. If you didn't see the YouTube last week, it was because we basically buried the tape. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it will not be ever seen again. Nonetheless, um, uh, what's going on, Coops? Not much. Yeah. Not much. Weird little introductory question. With the NFL season what? underway. Sorry? Did yes. you just have a conniption? NHL. Nah. With the NFL season underway mm. uh, last week. Started one. well, too. Yeah. Have, oh, really? Mm. What started well? Well, I was watching my man Aaron Rodgers today. Well, well didn't well, start well for yeah, him. Yeah, well, his team won. He he sort of stayed on for all of four minutes or something. Well, let's paint the picture. Right? Today was New York Jets versus uh, Buffalo Bills. Huge occasion. During the whole offseason, they've been doing hard knocks, which is the ESPN doco, on the New York Jets because Aaron Rodgers, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, some believe the greatest, has gone to the New York Jets, 38 years of age. Mm. Well, on about his fourth reception... Horrendous uh, bad ankle injury. Don't know the extent of it right now, but I think the contract he signed was 170 million. Good wow. loving. And he la- like the whole franchise is built on Rogers, and he went down. Wait yeah, to hear the won. extent of it. Yeah, yeah, but the the young quarterback came in, yeah. who's been sort of his deputy, who had a really difficult last year, and he got him home. Yeah, it was but, awesome. But still, like you know, Rogers, it's yeah. You but know, sometimes just back. being present there in amongst that team. Yeah, yeah. Is enough to lift them. Yep. Yeah, sure. You've, you've got plenty of experience oh, thanks, with it. Trish, Trish. Yes, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, so, introductory question. If you were an NFL team and we're going to see at the end of the year, mm. whoever finishes uh, higher or makes a Super Bowl is going to win a small little prize. But if you were an NFL team, Jack, who would you be? Well, I'm overly invested in the hard knocks. Me and Dill have been watching it here at home. Uh, and I like what they're about. I like what's happening I'm just going to double down and say the, the ankle injury isn't as bad as we for, first thought, and he'll be back soon, and we're going all the way to the top, the New York Jets. Oh, mm. with me. Are you the Jets as well? Yeah. Ah. yeah. Oh, nice. Only based on Aaron Rodgers. Okay. Because mm. I think he's hot. I, I used to love him. Like Joan, I'm a massive Joe Namath fan, and Rodgers is the best quarterback they've had since the great Joe Namath. Joe Namath, in the first, one of the first ever Super Bowls, they come up against the uh, – was it Indianapolis Colts or might have been Baltimore Colts back then? And they were wild outsiders against Johnny Unitas' Colts and come out and said, um, we will win the Super Bowl tomorrow. In fact, I guarantee it. And went out that night. It was, I think it was in New Orleans. It was out to like 3 in the morning and then next day MVP and they won the Super Bowl. Doing what? Joe 3 in the morning, drinking? Yeah, out drinking. Really? So they, who, used who's call, sh- they used to call him Broad, Broadway Joe. Okay, so who's your team this uh, year? Buffalo Bills. Okay. I've, I've always liked the Bills. Josh Allen, their quarterback. I followed them through the, the late 80s and early 90s. Uh, a big fan of the great Jim Kelly, who's a great quarterback. Unfortunately, they lost four Super Bowls in a row. Uh, 1990, 91, 92, and 93. Some heartbreakers. There's a good 40, uh, 30 for 30 on it. Yeah. What are you, Coos? Well, I don't really have a team, uh, but I did some research, and I'm going to go with the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, Joe Burrow just signed a massive contract extension, and as you guys know, I love money. Uh, so show me the money, Joe. I think the usually where the money is, that's where the, the rings are. He's, so. he's, he's got some very charismatic quarterbacks at the moment. Our first, we've got a new segment today, Finals Footy Fever, it's going to be mm. called. with the Obviously, with the semifinals and prelim and grand final coming up, we wanted to do 
a, li- a short little topic on the teams that are in currently. So the teams that are playing this week, Roosters, Storm, Warriors, Knights, uh, and the topic that we've chosen are what players in each of these current teams could make an all-time side right now. I'll so. just um, be really quiet now. You don't have any opinion on it? Not really. So you've let's got, start. You've got with, opinion on most things. Let's start with the Roosters. Uh, in my opinion, I think Roosters have had a long history, but the first one that I think would make a uh, top seam, Joey Manu. Right, okay. They've had some great centers. So this is really tricky with the Roosters because of their history. I've only put Tedesco in, although there's the great Russell Fairfax and and Minnie, of course, and I never got to see the amazing Dave Brown back in the day. But from the teams that I have seen, remember, I go Tedesco. Jack? Yeah, I went with uh, Joey Manu. It was hard to pick between him and Teddy, I think, for me. Uh, but I, I'm just trying to think of the, the great Roosters centers, Manu, Luttrell. I, I don't know. It'd be very hard to beat those two. Um, well, Justin Hodges was there, with like, but he's more of a Bronco. He was there early days. Well, he's more of a Bronco, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, I'd have to go Joey Manu. There's also a guy, uh, Mark Harris, who was an iconic center, big, robust center. He left the Roosters for, tried to play in the NFL, ended up playing in the Canadian Football League. He was an iconic player. There's been, I mean, a lot of guys. Michael Jennings. Jennings, great player. Yeah, so well, I mean, so even, uh, I mean, Anthony Minicello, you're picking, you're picking yeah. the count. Yeah, well, below I said Teddy. That. I said that. Well, yeah, I, I, I think in the modern era, Tedesco has been the best. Oh wow. Mm. Well, this is a hard one. Melbourne Storm. I think they've got they've got one of the best teams on paper with the spine. But I'm trying. I'm finding it hard to put any of them apart from Cameron Munster. I think Cameron Munster. Uh, Money is my man. I, I can't think of anyone. But um, I think Munster. Like who's been a great six? Like obviously, all the other spine yeah. members have been got. They're they're pretty locked in. Mm. Scott, the, the Scott, six. Yeah. The six is. Well, Greg Inglis played six down there for a long time, but I think you yeah. probably just put Scott, him in the centres. Scott Hill was an excellent six, but yeah, I think it's Munster. It's funny because one of the first ones I put down was Harry Grant, but unfortunately he's got an old bloke that was in front of him played a little bit about 45 in Cameron Smith. I went Munster and Nelson. I think Nelson and Sofa Solomona, I would have him in yeah. the all-time too. I think well, I don't know what if there's anything Jerome Hughes, Paps or Harry – could possibly do in their career that's going to push them in front of those three. Usurp them. Yeah. 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 Can we just send a little love out to Paps? Yeah, she had it to Paps. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, got hurt again. Heart Not as bad as her first thought. He'll, be, he'll start goodness. pre-season. Yeah, yeah. If he gets a full pre-season just under his belly, he'll be okay. Uh, next one, the Warriors. Any, any opinion you guys oh, have? Uh, I've gone Sean Johnson, the obvious one. I've gone Adam Fanua Blake. Yep. I've gone Dallin Watins Lesniak. And I've gone Tohu Harris. I got four of those guys. Wow. In my opinion, would make it because a lot of great wing DWZ, a lot of great wingers that he's pushing out. That they've had that I, a lot of big, I, strong wingers they've had down at the Warriors. His form this year has been phenomenal. So you're picking, everything. Are you he's picking done. Sean Johnson over Stacey Jones? Geez, that's a tough one, isn't it? That's a really tough one. I think well, what Sean's done this this year, and I expect him to win the Dalian Medal. Unfortunately, I'm a huge Stacey Jones fan, but yeah, if he wins the Dalian Medal, it's Sean Johnson. Jack, I um, I I just I if you have to choose one, I'm definitely going with Toho Harris. I think uh, like they've got such great forward packs uh, over the years. The Warriors have had such great powerful forwards, but he offers something a little bit different. I think like this year, Tohu's touches the ball that many times at 13 in a game and they've had such a high completion rate. I, th- I think in their history, this must be a season with their highest ever completion rate. Mm. And I think it's got a lot to do with how many touches Tohu has because he just makes no errors. He's rock solid in defence, plays big minutes and just gets through a ton of work. You're right. His pass selection is very clever. That's beautiful to no look passes he's doing. Yeah. Hits Fanua Blake that many times. What a little you short you have? Uh, I had the same. I had... Except I ha- I couldn't put Sean Johnson above Stacey Jones, but I had Adam Fanua Blake and Tohu Harris. Mm. I thought those two sort of really pushed themselves above. And our favourite, the last one, the Mighty Nineties. Please don't say Tyson Gamble. Don't uh, put Tyson Gamble ahead of this legend. Well, I had I had Caelan Ponga. Uh, I thought he made mine, and I had Tyson Gamble. <laughs> Did you? I just think Knights They've never had some great sixes. I just don't think There's they've one ever that had... comes to mind straight away. I, I just Sean think Rutter. that Tyson Gamble offers a lot more. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, mongrel about him Pizazz. than other sixes the Knights have had? Yeah. I tell you what, he is playing great football. He is playing Jeez, great football. He's going. He's going. On the weekend, let's not forget, they play with that halfback. Like Gamble when you know lost Hastings, you know, so on and so forth. Ponga for me. Although, you know, mate, mate, I'm telling you, Robbie O'Davis won a Clive Churchill medal in two competitions. Yeah. But yeah, Kalen is a phenomenon. I've gone Dane Gagai. 
I love Gagai, one of my favourites. And you watched him at the back end of that game last week. He was amazing. And I'll tell you the other one, controversial, Don Young. After, oh, after one, think, yeah, se- after I, one season. I, mate, what he I'm with you. What he is He's a great What player. he's done, I think he's the highest try scorer in, in, oh, wow. uh, like in single season. He has been incredible. It is such a shame he's leaving that club. Mm. Adam McDougall just threw his man shake on the ground. <laughs> He'll be okay. You've got to remember, too. You've got to remember. You gotta remember it's not just this season. Like his first season you can give him it was his first ever year, he was still 18, 19 years old. But last year the team didn't go very well. But Dom got the old boys gladiator award at the end of the year. Like he was Dom was hmm. pr- just about the best player in the club last year. And, and a, he just backed it up again this year. What a World Cup too. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. Just, just And I'll just say one thing too hmm. on um Tyson Gamble. Hmm. I'll tell you one thing, people just people the perception of Tyson is so far off the mark. I, I, I've never met someone that is such a nice bloke off the field and such a good bloke, and then on the field he completely flips. Like leading into round the round two game where he came off the bench, uh, I think it's just about the only game he missed all year. Everyone was thinking, mm, I don't know if he's got that mongrel in him anymore. We didn't really see it all preseason. Yeah. Mate, first kick up, he just he just launched his bomb up. And the hurl of abuse he was giving the wingers <laughs> as that ball was in the air was off its head. God love him. Yeah. I love that shit. He's got a lot of fire in him, doesn't he? Uh, Trishy. Just, just before we move, can we just say, and Trisha, and, and Roosters fans, you are welcome because Patricia Johns, what has happened? Brandon Smith has found his best form in the last month. Now, what this has coincided with is Brandon Smith coming over every week for a meal. Trish, you're cooking for him. No. And I, he's coming again tonight. I, f- I feel that we've become Brandon's superstition. <laughs> now, rugby league players I, I have a superstition. I think I think he has, Trisha, her food has become his superstition. I don't think so. I they've think st- Well, has. they've started winning ever since you did. Yes. And you mm. know, when, when something starts to happen with your football, it's working. Yeah. Hey, you always stick I wouldn't to mind it. being on the Roosters Bay Roll. Just yes. quietly. Yeah, only one that's not. I know, I was about to say, and I wouldn't be under the salary cap either, so hello. Trish, I believe you have uh, had an <laughs> What interesting... are you insinuating there, yeah. Trish? Whoa, I can hear Nick just going, okay, ringing Lionel Hutz. <laughs> doing what? a yeah. yeah, Lionel Hutz, he's the, uh, he's that, the solicitor is... in The Simpsons. Is that, is that <laughs> rhyming <laughs> slang? Oh, no. You're a bad that's man. That's what I thought it was, a bit of rhyming slang, Lionel is, Hutz. Is Lionel Hutz actually the solicitor he in The is. Simpsons? In The Simpsons, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, Trish. Mate, we had a very big weekend. Uh, Matthew, myself and a couple of girlfriends crushed the Hubble Devils senior footy presentation. Jacko, your old teammate, Harry um, Martin. Martin, got coach of the year. It was very fun. And whilst we were walking through Manly Corso in the afternoon, I was having a little giggle to myself. I walked ahead. Matt stopped to talk to someone. There's a surprise. Yeah, my mate, the Turkish played the Turkish. No, uh, no. It was kebab stuff. out near no. by the, the corner of the pub. And an old guy was standing at the front of the pub with his mate having a ciggy. And I could hear him. He's looking back at Matt and he goes, oh, he's fitter than his brother. Have a little giggle. Jeez, I tell you what, you're just pouring a little bit of petrol on that fire again. <laughs> oh, good yarn. Ex- can I extend on that, Trish? Just yeah, extend if you want. on that Saturday. My last Saturday <coughs> was one of the greatest Saturdays I've had in the last decade. So midday, I got the bus up to Neutral Bay at the uh, the Oaks. Went and had a beer with uh, Mark Fantasy and Andrew Webster. Then I got the, around three thirty. I got the bus so I could watch the Warriors game. Got the bus back to Manly. Crashed my lunch. Crashed your lunch. Left there straight away. Honestly, the mole patrol was full to go. <laughs> honestly, just punishing. Mate, all you were of just them. hanging around like oh that. Oh my smell. god, unbelievable! No wonder they struggle to find a bloke. Some of those girls. <laughs> anyway, they're all married. What I did, I put my earbuds in, and just bar hop, pub hop, going to watch the football. I met some of the best people. Just listening to music, mate. I was in hog heaven, and then uh, some great young blokes from the south coast were on a buck show, and then we crashed the Harbour Devils Prezzo. I yeah. tell you just something, boys. Don't young young local footballers go hard? Oh, a I'm... lot harder than the, on the NRL blokes. They so went off the field. Off the field. They party hard. Oh, they were fun. Yeah. Well, were, on the dance floor. Something, Court Trish. Something, tell, something tells me young local oh, footballers aren't getting tested by Asada. 
<laughs> you make them, well, it might funny. have something to do what? with why they're no, well, not that. I'll, I'll say this. I went out there, caught Trish smoking meth with the under 20s. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was on the toot with not the in, under 18s team as well. Yeah. It's not senior, again, Trish. Senior's I'll, prezo, mate. I'll, the boys were going, Trish on the toot. Do, mate, your, she do your calculations. Was gonski. Really? And yeah. Oh, mate. And we're off to watch Hoodoo Gurus this week. Yeah, on Friday night. Friday night, yeah. yeah. I drove Cooper uh, out to the UFC on Sunday and his mate Harry. And, mate, didn't we have quite the concert in the car? Yeah, that was good. Midnight Oil. Yeah, they were treating me like an Uber. They were both sitting in the back. Zach Hosking was at the, uh, he obviously got a front row seat with all the Penrith boys because they're all with the... Uh, uh-uh. Bam Bam. Bam Bam. Bam Bam. Not all the Penrith boys. So I was at the UFC on, on Sunday watching and I looked down to the ring and the walkout and there was a scene, I spotted Nathan Cleary's chin and it was nearly hitting the gate, well, and that's uh, not nice. right next and that to big it, pimple on his cheek. Right now, nah, that's gone. That that is the big <laughs> infection he had yeah, that time. Yep. Uh, next to him, Hosko. He he must have only had two seats right there, and all the other Panthers boys were somewhere else. And he's chosen our friend Zachy Hosking. Oh, that's because he's sit- such a good bloke. The blood could have dead set. Like he would have got blood on his white shirt. That's how close they were. Now, he was Dana White was literally five meters from him. Wow. Mm. Yeah, he was sending me. He was sending me Snapchats of, of Dana White, the back of his head. I'm going, who is that? Like, is it Bruce Willis? <laughs> I've got no idea who that guy is. Yeah, Dana White and uh, Joe, Rogan. R- Joe Rogan. They're like twins, aren't they? Yeah, they look very, very similar. Really? From the back of their head, you would. Dana go. White is a girl, right? No, no. Dana- oh. No. You now you're are. thinking of Betty sorry. White from the Golden Girls. No, Dana <laughs> is a girl's name traditionally. I'm sorry, I well, didn't know. Well, don't assume that. And, uh, on the Sunday night show, <laughs> post the night's game, record ratings, Dickhead. Sam Burgess returned. But, uh, Sam has a, and his fiance have a baby due any time. And hearing this, they might have uh, they might have had it. Uh, no, oh, got it here. No no baby yet, big fella. Uh, he's... We'll let you know straight away, so we'll keep you abreast of that. And, so uh, things are happening. Yeah, things are starting to happen. So uh, that's very exciting. And and look, I'll I'll lay. I've got some tips here. I'll I'll wait till later on for the tips. Okay, I'm just going to keep on my, what childbirth. I'm just going to keep my, oh, pa- my powder dry, so to speak. Trish, don't get excited. <laughs> oh dear, sweet lord. <laughs> powder dry. The old toot myster here. <laughs> Jack, do you want to? Get, let's get into your lyrics game. I'm a big fan of it. Oh, you want to go? You want to have a, have a go at the lyrics game already, dear? Yep, get yes, going, please. bro. Explain it to the listeners. All right, okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to... I've chosen three songs. I'm going to use a weird rhythm and a weird way of singing them, and they've got to try and guess the uh, guess which song it is. And that's the game, essentially. Good. <laughs> so we just first in best dressed. Call out exactly, the name of the song. Exactly right. Okay. All right, first song. Ready? You can uh, just just say it. Just say what you think it is. Is, that, right? is, is this a song? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> just say what you think it is. <laughs> yeah. Girl overboard. Okay. Run and tell all of the angels this could take all night. I think I need a devil to help me get things right. Oh, no, this. Hook, hook me up a new revolution. Because this one is a lie. We sat around laughing and watching the last one die. Now I'm looking to the sky to save me. Looking for a sign of life. Uh, Blue blue sky mining. Oh, yeah. Uh, Learn to fly. Foo Fighters? Cooper John. I, I was never going to get that in a million years. No idea yeah. for a while. I, straight away, I, I knew the lyric. I just couldn't attach Good, it to well the song. Well done. All I have was, looking for a sky. Uh, yeah. oh, Excellent, yeah. Jack. Well done, Jack. <sighs> All right. That's hard. Next song. Yeah. Next song. Whenever I hear goodbyes, reminds me, baby, of you. I break down and cry. Uh, Womack and Womack, teardrops. True. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> That's a disco man well, if I've ever seen one. Bobby Womack. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, you know? Th- can they- you can you sing that yourself? Yeah. Whenever I hear you cry, reminds me, of baby, of you. God, that's awful uh, stuff. Uh, that. Neil Diamond. When they released that song, they announced a tour of Australia and cancelled it after one show because nobody turned up. Oh, I would have gone. I've got their greatest hits album. You know, Jack. Final final one is it? All right. Good. Uh, this song, good I'm just going to enter in at any point. I'm not going to start at the uh, start of the song, okay? Okay. I'd hate to look into those eyes and see an ounce of pain. Her hair reminds me of a warm, safe place. 
Uh, sweet child of mine, Guns N' Roses. Well done. Oh. Yeah. Uh, a fact about this song, um, Slash claimed to Rolling Stone that he saw uh, Axl Rose write the lyrics to this song in five minutes after hearing the guitar riff for the first time. Wow. Wow. Oh, that, nice. That is. Mm. Well done, Jack. Good. I love that. Well done. Awesome. Awesome. Well Told us you'd be the best show. Yeah, I well love that music section. Uh, before we go to a break. I'm not good at it, but whatever. Nice work, Trishy. Mm. Before we go to a break, Cooper's Nasty Review this week. Uh, anybody who's been keeping an eye on my Instagram would see I've been shamelessly plugging plenty of things this week, uh, and I've got a lot of nasty feedback from my followers on Instagram, uh, and this was the best one that got said, so... And it's it does bring you into it, Dad. So oh, I'm, don't, no, I'm please, sorry, but don't kick a legend. Yeah, <laughs> footy legend. God, that's an overused word. You have more plugs than your old man. Uh, I think referring to Dad's hair plugs. <laughs> I'm not sure why a brand would want a skinny little princess peach like you. Go eat my shit, you big nose, two toed, small load. F- um, I'm not sure why he turned into. F- and Dr. Seuss at the end, <laughs> but uh, that one kind of hurt me. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Spe- especially uh. the, the big nose part. I don't know why he. Do we to... need to analyse that? What what part? Well, yeah, I think uh, clearly the clear issue cut. that person has. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm. Could I just make a point there about the plugs thing? I was listening to a <laughs> podcast the other day, um, and the ger- the rugby league journalist Michael Chamis is a good journal Michael uh, he was reading a, a, a letter a nasty letter he got from an old woman telling him to stop doing a comb over and actually start to just go and get plugs like Maddie Johns <laughs> can I just make a point people for the last time my hair is real it's not a horse's tail or acrylic I have, <laughs> have not got plugs no because Greta. if you had plugs you wouldn't have that little bit at the back yeah so, a please, little don't, can you just it's like vinyl you wouldn't do that oh, mate, I remember years ago guys would ask me what color you used in your hair I, all the time and I was like what no there's, said, col- there's color I, I get that a fair bit there's color in it <laughs> it's unbelievable people would Honestly, they, well, they would ask. Apart from a little bit of just for men, there's nothing, guys. <laughs> What's <laughs> just for men? That was a hair dyeing thing. Oh, but, right. no, Trish wouldn't let me use um, it. I've, I've got a little something for you boys. Okay. Can I give it to you now? It's oh, a gift. Oh, it, oh, it arrived sure. in the wait mail. Till, wait till the cameras are off, Trish. Go on. <laughs> go on. Or do you want to wait till after the break? No, go now and after the break. Yeah. Go on. Okay. So they literally arrived a couple of hours ago. Oh, it's here. Yeah. So my my listeners, a couple of them. Um, oh, put me that. onto these. Oh, so so these are actually so portable, portable um, pee, oh. pee bottles. Oh, so it's a pee bottle. Pee bottle portable. for your trip, for portable the car. toilet. Hey, and I bought them from I think Timu for six bucks because the first one. See, so you open this. Oh, Trish. How many liters is that? For I don't you? know. That's a good piss. That's a good pee, right? <laughs> I, uh, I, and then I just you seal wanna... it up. Yeah. And when you get home, tip it in the bathroom. Could you or take a like? dump in it? You reckon you probably could. <laughs> well, I don't know. Does your ass fit over that bit? Oh. No, no. Do they no. have any bigger ones? I don't know if my <laughs> penis will fit in. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do, Dad, does right. your ass fit over that? Yeah. <laughs> Dad, you're about to break it. Don't yeah. break it. Yeah. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank You've all you, got Trish. one under the tree. Oh, really? And I mean, thank you to the listeners for caring. Well, let's go to a quick break, and we'll be back after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast. Patricia. Hey, now, one of the listeners let me know, you know, Jack, your curse, you're a Matt's curse from last week. Well, remember how we were talking about Bruce Springsteen and we're going, oh, God, hope nothing happens. Well, dear Bruce had to cancel a whole lot of his concerts at the moment due to peptic ulcers. Yeah, mm. I know. So, Bruce, you're heading down to Australia either at the end of this year or beginning of next, so I hope you get better quickly. Yeah. But in case anyone's worried, they aren't life-threatening. Mm. Uh, they're actually an infection. It's a, a bacterial infection or from long-term use of anti inflams Yeah, right. Okay. So I dare say he's pretty buzzy up on stage that he probably uses a fair few an- anti inflams Yeah, I know a few of the footballers have got ulcers from that mm. sort of stuff. If you don't want ulcers for Bruce, oh. uh, suppositories. Yes. Very easy. Up there, just a, a slight inhale. I, uh, I'd, I'll tell you what. Watch out, Womack and Womack. Oh, no, because <laughs> yeah. they'd be ageing, actually. They're husband and wife, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And, and in other distressing news, uh, the Johnny Cash poster in the corner fell off the wall twice today. 
the tour ID. Isn't he already dead? Yes. Yeah, he's oh, already okay. dead. Luckily. Maybe, maybe well, Vince no, is Frank coming Zappa back. Didn't come back yeah, he's maybe coming back. You're haunting him. Well, and the okay. other thing too, my Kim Wilde, Kids in America, uh, 45 fell off as well. So sorry to the Wilde Don't. family. Don't. Mm. Don't. She's wild mm. thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, BBC News played a recording of a driver reporting a vehicle travelling on the wrong side of the road I saw on Instagram this week. It was in the US. They then showed body cam of the police approaching the driver realising it was actually the driver who was on the, driving on the wrong side of the road that had made the call. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, he then had a blood alcohol reading of twice over the legal limit. Yeah, really bad considering he didn't realise he was driving on the wrong side of the road. Mm-hmm. But like what is civil – like fulfilling his civil duty and actually what, bothering to call the police. Like do- dobbing himself in. I'm not going to say the player but an NRL player did the same no, thing. No, well, he didn't dob him. He literally thought the other car was driving on the wrong so side of the road. he was on the wrong side of the road oh. looking at someone else. And going, thinking they idiot. were on the oh, wrong side of the road. Him, yeah. Because yeah. an NRL player, who I'm not going to mention, How long ago? ran the cops on himself about six years ago on himself <laughs> and he was over the limit. Yeah. Anyway, what, saying it? I'm over the limit, come and get me? I don't know the nuances of what happened. Is he still playing, he Dad? Yeah, yes, he is. Really? Yes. Okay. Oh. Here's a tip on popular culture. Uh, there's this, this is a great tip. On Foxtel, there's a new show called oh. Inside Dubai, Playground of the Rich. It's a pommy doco. It is absolutely brilliantly done. It could be a mockumentary. They have found possibly the five or six most awful human beings possible, just so out of touch with reality. It's unbelievable. There's like this crazy uh, English woman, um, this <laughs> horrendous funny. sheik whose kids are clearly terrified of him, and he's pretending to be father of the year. Oh, we just sit uh, around all day playing Xbox and PlayStation, and the kids are almost shaking near him. We have a great time, don't we? Yeah, and they go. Yeah. Yeah. He says to one, he goes, "We have a great time, don't we?" And he goes, no, "He goes, don't we? <laughs> don't we?" <laughs> and he, and at the end of it, he goes, "Ah, oh, but you know." Being an Emirati here means I doesn't have to work, which lets me focus on the career that I want. And he breaks into Elvis's car, oh. can't stop falling in love. It is honestly, I was, is, I was in hysterics watching what, it. It's such a great show. Why does everyone want to be Elvis? Oh, who know. wouldn't want to be Elvis? Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, mm. that's great. That was great. Thanks, Trisha and Matthew. Yeah. Mm. Predicament yeah. of the week. Okay, here it is. Two part question, people. You go out on a, on your first date. With truly your dream partner, stunning, funny, generous, rich, great ass. Okay, what's worse, them farting loudly in front of you, or having bad breath, Ooh. or having bo? Ooh. Which one would be the biggest turnoff? Her fa- farty, he or he, her farting loudly in front of you, having bad breath or bo? Which do you think would be the best? Wh- well, I would prefer them fart because that's yes. here and gone. Yeah. Yep. Bad breath, I can't. I really can't cop bad breath on people. Mm. I know I'm not big on bo either, just yeah. quietly. Yeah, I, I, bad oh, breath. I okay, the second part. No, sorry, Cooper, you go. I th- I'm going to say bad breath. Mm. Oh, really? Bad breath. Well, I'm kissing it. Yeah. yeah, but that's the worst thing for you. What's the best option? Mm. Oh, farting! You yeah, fart. okay, yeah. I mean, I would, I'd That's break up actually... with them anyway if they fart in front of me. But what if about I had to would pee? you? What about if you? Fancy you breaking up. What if she shit herself? Oh, oh no! Yeah. Goodbye. And it just oh. completely messed down there. Yeah. Um, oh, Jacko, what about you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the worst one for me is the bo. Yep. Mm. Uh, and the best is obviously the farting. It's here and gone. Yeah. Uh, I'm with you. Yeah. Okay. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Um, one of my first dates, I farted. Yeah, in knew. the movies, not I, with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he he dealt with it very tactfully. He looked, gave me a side in the movies. He gave me a sideward glance, and he said, mm, "McDonald's isn't very good for you, is it?" <laughs> and then my mum looked away. Went. <laughs> <laughs> right, if that person had bo or had bad breath, the question: oh. It's your dream partner. Is it a deal breaker? Could you still go out with them? I mean, you can no. do fresh yogurt for the breath. I mean, deodorant, Mm-mm. or is that just can't be eliminated are from you, your mind? Are you saying the bo and bad breath is permanent? Like you can't, they can't brush their no, teeth. No, but in. but can you get that thought out of your head? Oh yeah, I could get it out of my head eventually. Mm, no, mm. I can't. Mm. Mm. Jack, no. Uh, oh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know, Cover. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Can, I don't know. Can I ask you boys something? Because it's a little on trend um, at the moment to have hairy armpits oh, with girls. Not women. No, I wouldn't say it's on. Oh. I, Trisha, no, be no, careful no. what you say. I wouldn't not say it's on boys, trend. 
No. But some of the girls loving, you know, all natural. No. no. <clears throat> no. Uh, have you ever been out with anyone with hairy armpits? No. Cooper, I I wouldn't say like they were really hairy, not like the ones you're thinking of. But I ha- well, I have, I'm talking I about not seen, shaving or waxing. I have laser seen an arm go up and like spotted sp- spotted like hair there, mm. and like longer than like, it wasn't just hair. Like oh, it's just had a fresh shave and like it's no, prickly. it was quite long. Like it was like the length of Dad's hair, so yeah. not that long. No, that's no, pretty bloody long. That's long, but not thick. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, that's nah. Yeah, I couldn't and do that. And d- was it smelly? Sorry, I didn't bury my nose in there. No, but, but that's <laughs> sure generally, didn't. like, more hair it makes it stinky. More hair creates sweat, mm. as, which creates BO. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I, sorry, I wasn't walking up to this person. Mm. Hey, sorry, can you just lift up your armpit for a second? <laughs> okay, second part of that mm. question. Okay. Uh, I, was, I was reading something the other day, having a bit of a laugh about it. Uh, it was a bit sort of off colour, but that's okay. Mm, um, might have been a radio show, who knows. But anyway, they were talking about... Um, they're talking about like these days. So, boys or young fellas groom, shave quite a bit. Yeah. Which I sort of find Talk to this funny. One. I don't. Whereas young women. Hang on, you I, do a bit of grooming yourself, mate. In fact, I've bought you a groomer. All of you got groomers yeah, yeah. a few but Christmases I ago. But I don't use it. But, but, and whereas. Women these days are going unnatural down in the Vagina region. Like Vagina? really. Yeah, like 70s style. Well, not if they've been lasers, What's the they artic- won't be. Hmm? Where was the article, Cobber? Uh, it was Picture Magazine. <laughs> is that even around? Yeah, Dad was scrolling still online. Yeah. Of the week, Jack. Get into it. So this week, I've decided to change it up a little bit. This week, I'm doing this time of year. Everyone's finished their, you know, their different winter sports and they're doing their costumes uh, for their Mad Monday. So I've gone Mad Monday costumes of the week. Brilliant. Uh, I've gone through a number of different pages and seen uh, the most common ones, what the trends are at this year. And of course, the, you know, the ones that deserve a mention, mm-hmm. the ones that have really put some effort and some thought into it. So I'll start off with the ones that have put some effort and thought into it. The first one I'll go to is uh, a team of footballers. They went as, uh, have you seen the movie Despicable Me, Cooper? Yeah, very good. The Minions and Groot. Yes, yeah, they go as Gru, not Groot. <laughs> Sorry. Gru. I was thinking. Yeah, I had to double check that. Uh, and they got the team to go as the Minions and they got their coach to go as Gru. Mm-hmm. And he was basically hyping them up um, for a feral evening, what it looked like. <laughs> um, <laughs> that would have taken a lot but, of uh, effort. It looked like- oh, yeah. That would have taken a lot of effort, but I suppose that Tigers were always going to miss the finals from middle. Oh. Of the <laughs> Good to see Sheensy go to uh, bat. The- <laughs> The next one was a, uh, a group of netballers. They'd finished their season. Uh, they went as retired Hooters employees where huh? they uh, wore the Hooters, the, the Hooters gear, gear and they, made, they wore fake boobs that dripped past their <laughs> belly button. Oh. Love it. I thought it was very creative. That's but the best one, the most creative one I saw was uh, a couple of fellas retrofitted a golf cart at their uh, local golf club, and they made it look like the mutt cuts. They covered it in, from um, Dumb and Dumber. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They put ears on it, and they were driving around like it was the uh, mutt cuts car from Dumb and Dumber. Genius. It was brilliant. Just a shout out to all the players, because there'll be two sides that'll be knocked out of the competition after this week. Fellas, when you get a Mad Monday, honestly, or you're having a bit, <laughs> Here we just go. leave the phones. But uh, uh, get a phone. D- I don't know what do you want to do with it. You want to hide it, put it away, throw it in the creek, whatever. Do not take your phones to Mad Monday. See, it's hard though. Say it's no hard more. To get home with Uber Say no things. more. Yeah. yeah, I think Jack's got a good opinion the, on this. True. Oh well, I've gone through the list and I had a look at. Uh, I've got four costumes that were the most dominant in the Mad Monday uh, scene this year. Uh, number four was the uh, Ted Lasso kits. People were going as Roy Kent. Ted Lasso and Coach Beard a lot this year. I don't year. like it. Mm. Uh, not enough effort. Yeah, I like it. I don't I don't like not enough imagination. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Okay. Well, number three, Shannon Noll. He always appears somewhere on the list. <laughs> yes. He's always there. <laughs> Noll Patrol. We were, we yeah. were talking uh, about. Number two, was, there's a website you can uh, bid to try to get Shannon Noll to events. And I put an offer in because I was like, I said to Lockie Croker, I was like, how cool would it be if Shannon Noll rocked up to our Mad Monday? And I put an offer in for a couple grand, but he never, I never got anything back. Uh, never yeah. got any receipt back. I don't think he wanted to do the Mad Monday. Yeah. Anyway, Jack. Well, num- number two is the, I've, I've paired them together, the Colonel and Ronald McDonald, 
McDonald appearing at their local McDonald's and uh, KFCs. Like it. Uh, I, I thought this one was quite creative too because what they were doing was a lot of them were going into the establishments and actually running the show and telling staff what to do. <laughs> uh, you can't do that, uh, firstly, but uh, very creative nonetheless. Yeah. And then number one this year, dominated by Barbie. Barbie and Ken, uh, that's the one this year. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a few of those. Yeah, yeah. I'm not big on There's it. There's been though. a lot of Barbie parties, actually. What a turd of a I movie. would not want to be going to a Barbie party. Is that like a swingers thing? Yeah. I don't know. <gasps> Talking about swingers, you know what I learned on the weekend? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. If now you want to let people know that you're a swinger or up for swinging, mm -hmm. do you know what the universal um, symbol is? Dave's nodding. <laughs> Dave is nodding. Dave knows. It's an upside down pineapple. Oh, what? where do you put that? At your house? On your, on your door. Like, apparently it's big on cruise ships. You reckon upside down pineapple on the cruise ship? This is where my girlfriend found it. But then I've since looked into it. Like, um, but if you wear, um, yeah, like a brooch or whatever, or a t-shirt with an upside down pineapple, it means keep, you're up for swinging. Keep the wow. eyes out. They Who knew? Mm. The humble pineapple. Dave knew. They <laughs> say, <laughs> yeah, they say if housewives used to be up for it, they used to put uh, Omo at the front of the window, which meant old man out. Really? <gasps> mm. Really? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's not swinging as much as. Mm. Having yeah, an wow. affair. Mm. Do you know um, a girlfriend of mine that I knew? Swang with. No. Mm. Well, um, fortunately not. She had a family member. I think it was an uncle and an aunt that used to be swingers back in the 70s or the 80s. Mm. And actually they left the country because of it. Oh, God. Well, yeah. Too many, too much swinging. Well, they swung and obviously it endangered mm. their relationship and yeah, they, yeah. they literally left the country. That's a shame because they're great people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Do you think? Um, do you think that you can build a bad rep? <laughs> what as is a, wrong a with you? Was that actually who they are? <laughs> it was them. <laughs> it was them. <laughs> was it them? No, no it's her relatives. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nailed them. No <laughs> way. <laughs> They're all right. Stop it. I'd still have a go there. That's, uh, <laughs> oh my wow. god. Wow. Oh, awesome. Wow. That's Please, hilarious. No, they're relatives. I wonder if the IGA still have and go get a pineapple. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well done, Big M. Let's go to a quick break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the podcast. I hope you enjoyed those messages. I know I did. Uh, here's shit to impress your mates with, Dad. Well, you're going to love this. The man who is... I think going to be the human being of the decade, who knows, maybe the century, uh, the Ukrainian president, uh, Vladimir Zelensky. Of course, um, yeah, you know about him. He's the Ukrainian president that's holding off Vladimir Putin, doing unbelievable things there. Now, he is a Russian-speaking Ukrainian and only learnt Ukrainian when he decided to run for president a number of years ago. Now, he was people. a lot of people know that he was originally a comedian and an actor, when he went on Dancing with the Stars in Russia. Uh, he, he had a TV career which started with making cartoons, movies and TV shows with his uh, production company. He was the voice of Paddington Bear for the original and Paddington Bear 2 uh, in Russia and the Ukraine. But the big one, the thing that made him close to the biggest star in Russia and the Ukraine, he was the star in a sitcom in Russia which was called Servant of the People. Now his character in that sitcom was a school teacher who went on to become the president of the Ukraine. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? And when he went to run for president of the Ukraine, all the Russian, the Russian government were hoping he got in because they just thought he was a complete joke. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. There you what go. the hell? Yeah. Well, small world. Thanks for that fact. No worries. Jack loved it, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cooper's quiz for this week. We got the riddle game again. I've got three riddles here. Okay. Uh, and this is the rhyming riddle variation. But in one of these riddles, I'm going to read it as a famous celebrity. And for a bonus point, if you guess the answer Ooh. and the celebrity who I'm doing. Oh, you're going to imitate the celebrity. I'm going to imitate them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Go keep on. your eyes and ears peeled. Yeah. Thanks. Little variation. Keep growing. Okay. First one. The more I appear, the less you see. So riddle me this. What could I be? Darkness. I don't know if you remember how the riddle game works, but you're supposed to write your answer down, but you are correct. Oh, it is darkness. Sorry. That's okay. One nil, Patricia. Jim Carrey? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know who he was. I wasn't. A, the, a, one of the three I will impersonate. Oh, that wasn't. That was that was just Cooper Johns. I know I'm big oh. in this house, but no, no, that was just my voice. <laughs> sorry, I forgot that we had to write it. It's okay. Don't worry. One nil. Okay. I touch the earth, I touch the sky, 
If I touch you once, you'll surely die. Yep. Gotcha. That wasn't my voice, in case you were wondering. I'll say it one more time. Mm. I touch the earth, I touch the sky. If I touch you once, you'll surely die. Gotcha. Answers. Can I lead off? Yeah. Uh, I'm going uh, Lightning and Robert De Niro. Patricia? Um, I'm going with The Godfather, and I actually just don't know what that is. Okay. Touch Jackson? I touched the sky. I was going with Space and De Niro. Well, it was Robert De Niro, and it was Lightning, Big M. Well done. Yeah. So that's two points for Big M. Two, one. Jack, I'll give you one because you got De Niro. Well done. Yeah. I might do a clean Thanks, sweep here today. The Godfather is not a celebrity. Trisha, mm. is a character. Feel them. Mm. Tiebreaker, here we go. You use it between your head and toes. The more it works, the thinner it grows. You use it between your head and toes. The more it works, the thinner it grows. Mm -hmm. Jack, we'll lead off with you. Uh... <coughs> Jeez. Uh, yeah. Skin, and I think you're impersonating... Uh, no, you, you still haven't grasped... Val the Kilmer. <laughs> there was only one celebrity... Imp it was just a bonus <laughs> thing. You keep yeah. trying to guess the celebrity. Just go for a bonus point. <laughs> Why do you keep not listening every time I do a quiz? Okay, I've got mine. So could you say, say it once more? Okay. <laughs> you use it between your head and toes... The more it works, the thinner it grows. I've got it. I've got it. Let Trish do it because I don't want to. If she, ha I don't want to steal your answer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go, Patricia. Memory. I doubt it. Okay. No, he asked. Yeah, I asked for an answer. What? Oh, did you ask? I thought you wanted to write it down. No, no, no. What's your? I've, like, I've grass. I'm struggling to grasp the game as well. Okay, I've gone I'm stomach, not. and you're Richard Wilkins. <laughs> <laughs> nah. It was actually a bar of soap. Oh, uh, yeah. You use it between your head and toes. The more it works, the thinner it grows. Excellent. Yeah, okay. And it was Excellent. no person. Yeah, and yes. it wasn't Dickie Wilkins oh. or Jim Carrey. Oh, that no. was Cooper. <laughs> there was See, only I'm I listening. Said, it's okay. Anyway. Trish, wrap it up for okay. us. Okay. The Woolgulga first grade. They've claimed their first ever grand final. Oh, well done, Congratulations, Good points. on you, lads. Well done. Uh, now, yeah. Matt, still on Woolgulga. Um, my friend, Insta friend, let me know. They aren't Hindu. I didn't actually fact check this. I went to. They're not Hindu temples. Yep. They're actually Sikh temples. Ah, uh, Sikh temples. I'm, I'm okay. not quite sure what the difference is myself. Yes, um, yeah, it, they're Indian, but it's, yeah, the Sikhs yeah, and the it's Hindu. It's a different, yes. Different, yes. Yeah. Okay, a couple of tips. For anyone with tips this week? I've got a couple here. Rolling Stones, new song out, Jack. He's heard it called Angry. Have a listen to it. It's classic Keith Richards. Riff, really good song. And the other one, the great uh, band, the English band from Manchester, Salford, Happy Mondays. They're uh, touring Australia mid-October. Go and see them. It's sensational. Okay. Yeah, nice. Any more tips for this week, guys? Once again, people, uh, Inside Dubai, Playground of the Rich, watch it, give us some feedback. Yep. And if you're going to do toot, put your phone away. Exactly. Isn't that right, Trish? <laughs> what? Listen, thanks, guys. Great podcast. See you next week. Ciao.